As somebody who doesn't keep up with music anymore, I really don't have a side in this whole thing. Currently, I live in Philly, right by where Meek went to high school and recently gave $10,000. On the other hand, I love Toronto and Drake has been a big part of the culture. So instead of taking a side, I'd figure I'd just go over each involvement in the battle world. Meek Mill. Meek actually hung out with the early Philly legends of, uh, of battle rap. If you aren't familiar with them, uh, you know, they had the DVDs back in the day. Uh, and that's actually where battle rap on DVD format started. Uh, before any of these other DVDs were out, Philly popularized the culture. Uh, you could buy these DVDs. Uh, which are generally a mix of music, ciphers, interviews, and battles. You could buy them at music shops or subway stations and stuff. Mm -hmm. So like I said, Meek associated with uh, several big names in Philly battle history back in the day. Here's Meek and Ray Dollars freestyling together. Uh, I want to say this clip is in 2005. Dark outside, them late nights, you can't walk outside without a gun. Mm -hmm. I send my bloodhounds to park outside. We get to chopping, had them coppers bring the chalk outside, and you done. I'm never chilling because the narc's outside, and they watching like a hawk outside. However, things didn't stay great between the two. Uh, here's Reed speaking on Meek in 2006 on his documentary, Enemy of the State. Go. Uh, I'll be forgetting uh, it. Listen, Meek Millie, if you're watching this right now, whoever's sitting around Meek right now, I want everybody to just stop right now. Stop what you're doing. Just please stop right now. Take a look at Meek. No, all eyes on me. No, everybody in the room, look at Meek. No, not this Meek Mills. If you around <laughs> the other one, if you around the fraud Meek Mills, Take a look at him. Give him one more look. Give him one more right look. Right now. Look at him. Just look at him across the room like, what are you doing? And here goes Meek responding. You don't like me, I don't like you neither. Ain't about a dollar, holler. Cause y'all the type niggas get knocked, start singing like an opera. Swinging with the coppers, getting niggas booked. Cause the crackers got you cracking like the raw when it's cooked. The two went back and forth with the diss tracks for a long time. Bro, mess with codeine, put the barrel on him. I ain't know you love me, me. You can see that ball dreams. I got him shivering. I don't feel none of you niggas. Saying my name like a bill. Bill. that it get you killed. All oh. my sperm lifting like Dominique Will. But Reed Dallas was not the only person in Philly that Meek had issues with. He had issues with Philly battle rapper N.H. That's on me. How they gonna sick Meek on me? He gonna need his homies be fucked up. I fuck his ass up. He's too pony B. No, you ain't my homie B. You know I got that chrome on me. I fuck around and put a bullet where your head's supposed to be. And he also had issues with Philly battle rapper Joey Jahad, who actually he went from friend to foe with. Meek also participated in rap battles of his own far before his fame. Another battle related thing that Meek got involved in is he had a little beef with Cassidy and uh, you know this was far before the Drake thing and there was all these rumors that the two were going to uh, battle and it never actually ended up happening but it was a big it was a big deal. Meek also sponsored a battle between an artist of his and an artist of Deshaun Jackson. At the end of the battle Lil Snoop ended up being, uh, being judged the winner of the battle and he was given $10,000 on the spot. Drake. To begin with, Drake is really good friends with Bishop Brigante, a king of the dot. Bishop himself participated in battle rap early on, winning several titles in Toronto, participating in the WRCs, and being the first Canadian to appear in BET's Freestyle Friday. Bishop also recently battled Arsenal on the king of the dot platform. Drake also has a lot of involvement in the battle scene, mainly through king of the dot. As I'm sure you've seen, he's been in the background of a lot of prominent king of the dot battles. Drake is also a huge fan of battle rap, notoriously missing the Grammys to go to the King of the Dot Blackout 5 event. Not only did Drake and OVO sponsor the event, but he also put up $10,000 for the winner of Hitman Holla vs. Shadi Hora. Sponsoring and co-hosting several battle events, Drake has certainly made his presence known in the battle world. I can also say that Drake seems to have good taste in battle rappers, most recently praising Head Ice and calling him one of his favorite battlers. Drake has also been toying with the idea of battle and murder mook. Earlier this year, the battle between the two was rumored to go down at King of the Dots Blackout 5. Then speculation again arose when Drake appeared at Smacky URL's Gnome 5. 